Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Isan Kose from Kose Trading. And today we have another beautiful, beautiful product uh, at the table again. It is the most iconic and most highly priced product uh, for Bio Play line from Bang Olsen. It is the, the Bio Play A9. Uh, A9 has been uh, developed and uh, also up been, has been upgraded over I think over five or six years and today we're gonna deassemble the first version of the Beoplay A9 it's the MK1 version the MK1 version came out uh, in 2015 and it has been designed by I don't know if I can pronounce it the correct way but his name is uh, Ulvin Alexander Slatot so uh, shout out, uh, big shout out to the designer. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. And the dimension is it's a pretty big with the legs on. And here is the legs. Uh, without the legs, the dimension is uh, 70 by 90 by 41 and a half. It's, uh, with the legs, yeah, I think it will be a little bit higher. I'm gonna put the legs over here. The weight is uh, 15 kilos. It's a very big uh, chassis with the, the aluminum uh, uh, surface around the, the Biolab, uh, no, Bioplay A9. Inside the Bioplay A9 MK1 version, there's uh, uh, five power amplifiers inside. One uh, 160 watts for the bus unit and two times 80 uh, class D amplifiers for the mid-range and two times 8 watt class D amplifier for the treble. Inside the Bioplay A9 there is uh, is five drivers. One woofer is 8 inch and two times uh, three inch mid-range drivers and two times three quarter trailer inside the Bioplay A9 MK1 version. The connectivity with the, the wireless connectivity with the Bioplay A9 MK1 version was pretty hard to uh, get it, uh, get to work, and this is the uh, second hand. I must reset it, and I need to go and investigate how to reset this product. After the reset process, it was uh, very hard to uh, to set it up. I need to do some configuration in my Wi-Fi router, uh, change it from five gigahertz to two point five gigahertz gigahertz. So uh, then I can uh, connect with the Bioplay A9. But the Bioplay A9 also have a uh, Bluetooth connectivity. It has the little bit old one, it has the 4.0. The Bioplay uh, A9 has uh, one USB port, uh, one in line port, and also one uh, Ethernet port inside the Bioplay A9 MK1 version. The MK1 version came out with a different variation of colors. You can get it in white, black, blue, brown, and green and red and silver. So today we're gonna do a deassembling process. Uh, we're gonna deassemble it. It's actually my first time to do a Bioplay A9 product. Uh, I bought it uh, second hand. It was an okay price. And Today I'm gonna demonstrate to you how uh, we're gonna deassemble it and how to uh, what inside the Bioplay A9 and see how the Bang Olufsen built the product. So uh, I think I, I have also there are some missing uh, items, uh, not items but parts. We have not the the fabric on. The fabric was in the red, but. I have to put it away, but it was very hard to put it on also, it was very old. So we also, we have the legs, the legs is also uh, very easy to install, it's, you just need to turn the uh, counterclockwise, and the A is for the middle one, and B for the right and left side. So we already have uh, removed the legs, the, red, the, the legs are in very good condition, but uh, it's very old, it has some marks, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna put this legs away. So uh, first thing we need to do, I think I can see some invisible screws. Uh, I don't know how to handle this product, but uh, 
I'm gonna start with uh, removing some screws around the product and see what went with. So I'm gonna start with uh, losing the screws, all, all the screws from the front product and see what went with. So as I said before, I'm gonna unscrew all the screws and I'm gonna speed up the process again. So uh, yeah, let's begin. So uh, we have finally removed all the screws. Uh, Inside here, Bang Olufsen has uh, used a, a little bit smaller th th torque inside these holes. So uh, yeah, I think I have loosened them all. Always safety first. And let's try it to... We can loosen it up. I don't know how to do it, but maybe we should. So uh, there is also one cap here. And let's try to lift it up. One screw left. So uh, I think this is the ER uh, board. Uh, let's uh, remove. And here is the ER board. Let's uh, remove that. There we go. Here is the ER module, module from Bang Olufsen. I'm gonna put here. One screw was missing, so I'm gonna unscrew this one. So we have finally removed the screws, and here is the cap for the ER sensor. And uh, let's try to if we can lift it up, side down. No, it's pretty stuck. Hmm, that's very interesting. So. Uh, so uh, we have figured out how to remove the, the front cover. So there is, uh, there is also one screw behind this uh, thing. I didn't know there was one screw. So I think we can uh, remove it now. So we can take the front, front uh, cover off and there are one cable here. So, uh, There are some screws falling down. And here is the, the front uh, cover, front plastic cover for BioPlay A9. And it's actually nice to see what's inside the BioPlay A9 for MK1 version. And it's also great to see at, that uh, Bang Wolves has uh, used uh, the great damping material. So uh, that's nice to see. So uh, let's put this, this away. What we have here, we have the two meter inch driver and three quarter uh, Twitter and we have the big bass unit. Here's the main board and here is the power supply board. So I think we should start with to, uh, let's try to remove the, the, the drivers and see what went with. So I'm gonna split the process again and remove the, all the screws for the, for the, the the left and right drivers, mid-range and trader. So let's yeah. do that. Finally remove the screws and I think we can just now lift up the the, the trader unit. And the trader units is also look very familiar. Looks like the, the more, normal trader from uh, BioLab 8000 and also maybe the 8002. Here, the, the mid range driver. The mid range driver looks like this, and this is, looks like I don't know, I don't have seen this before. Here is the mid range driver. Let's also remove. Put unit here and there we go. Auto mid range driver. So we have finally removed the, the mid range drivers. We also have removed the tweeter drivers. So uh, let's try to begin to remove 
all these cables. I think this is the main board. So uh, this is bubbling. Maybe this one is the, the wireless connectivity card. So uh, let's see what we have here. This one. Uh, I'm really curious about what, what this is for. So uh, Bangor Olsen has glued this one and let's try to wait and see what that is. So let's uh, remove the, the wireless connectivity board from the main board. Uh, and here is the wireless card and I don't know what the I don't know what the model this one is for but this is for the MK1 version let's continue to remove the cables from the main board uh, let's see if we can so I think we should uh, remove the, the screws and see what we have uh, if we can remove the main board so i'm gonna start the process remove all the screws and see if we can uh, pull the main board out we have finally removed all the screws uh, i think we can uh, lift it up nice and easy and here is the main board uh, we also uh, had need to, i don't know what we uh, we also need to remove the cooling pad so uh, the cooling pad uh, is uh, located uh, right here so uh, we also need to uh, put all the screws back uh, inside the cooling pad. But here is the, the main board for BioPlay A9 for MK1 version. Look like this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this aside and put all the screws back into the cooling pad and work on further with the BioPlay A9. We have uh, removed the main board from the BioPlay A9 and the next step will be the power supply board. And what I can see from the power supply board, the power supply board has the number PSV4. And I think we can just remove all the cables and let's... Okay, so I'm gonna speed up the process again and remove the screws around the power supply board. We have finally removed all the screws and I think we can just lift up the power supply board. And let's also remove the cables. And here is the power supply board for BioPlay A9 MK1 version. And we're gonna put it aside here. So uh, the next step will be I think we should unscrew the, this main board chassis. Uh, when Bang Olufsen do service, they actually change the complete chassis out and they put a new one in. So uh, I think we need to uh, unscrew all the screws and then we can uh, work on the on the woofer. So uh, I'm gonna split up the process, remove all the screws uh, around the the aluminium chassis. So uh, let's do that. We have finally removed all the screws from the main chassis. I think we just lift it up. And the chassis is, uh, is actually uh, being removed like that. And if Bangalore needs to do some service, they can just remove this one. So we're gonna put this aside. So it's also very interesting how Bangalore has uh, used uh, uh, to molding on this form. And you can also see where the legs are coming in it's very nice to see that so uh, i think we should uh, move on to remove the woofer um, let's remove some cables oh there's also a card here so let's try to see if we can remove that i don't know what it is but uh, i don't know if it's a part is separate from the woofer but uh, I don't know what that is I don't know don't have seen that before it's ETE I think it's the microphone so uh, I don't know if somebody knows what it is leave uh, me a comment so uh, everybody can see what it is so uh, yeah I don't know what this is let's remove some cables here one 
So uh, we'll move here. So let's try to see if we can uh, unscrew all the screws from the woofer and pull it out. So I'm gonna speed up the process again, remove all the screws and see if we can pull out the woofer. We have finally removed all the screws. So uh, a little bit exciting over this uh, big uh, woofer. Uh, let's try to see if we can uh, even lift it up. But uh, let's try to first uh, remove the cables. So uh, let's try to see if we can. Uh, so here we go. Here is the beautiful woofer for BioPlay A9 MK1 version, and we also have the part number here. Look like this. There is not much left for us. Uh, let's try to see if we can uh, remove this one. <laughs> okay, let's try to. Uh, there are some screws we need to unscrew. So I think this is for. I don't know why. I think this is the connectivity where these two leads cables are connected to the aluminium. Maybe they have to get inspiration for the. Uh, for the iPhone uh, antenna back in the days. So let's try to remove. Here we go. Here we go. So we have removed the screws, and I think we can just remove the aluminium frame. <laughs> it's very interesting how Bang Olufsen has uh, built this, but uh, yeah. So yeah. Let's put this one aside. So uh, we have removed the frame, uh, the aluminum frame. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna remove this one, but uh, let's see if we can. Here we go. Here is the board. I don't know what board. Oh, okay. This is the. For the reset button, okay, that's interesting. Why the reset button has connected to this one? So uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody knows why Bang Alvesen has uh, connect these two wires into this board. Leave me a comment. I don't know if we can uh, remove uh, if we can remove this. I'm not unsure, but uh, I think we can. But uh, let's try to see if we can unscrew all the screws and see what's gonna happen. So uh, I have uh, removed all the screws from the back. Uh, it's very hard to remove and separate the separate the this white chassis from the main chassis. So I don't know how to handle this. Also, Bang Olufsen has glued some parts. I've tried to remove uh, this one for the bass unit, so uh, yeah, but I'm trying to remove uh, uh, this PCB board, the PCB board where you can uh, get volume up and down. Uh, I don't know how to remove it, but uh, let's try to see if we can set a flat screwdriver in. No. But uh, let's try to remove. No. I'm a little bit interesting to get this PCB board here out. No. Is there any screws here? Yeah, there are some screws. So uh, on each hole here, there are not screw here, not screw here. There are some screws. So uh, I'm gonna use some time to unscrew all these screws. So uh, I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna split the process and remove just those. There is four screws. So I'm gonna do that. So I have unscrewed. So uh, let's try to put. 
a screwdriver in here and see we can there we go there we go oh, okay we missed one screw go and we can lift up this cover and gain access to the piece of wood here so lift it up and this is for the charge bar for the charge connect connectivity where uh, you can uh, use the volume with your fingers that's nice so uh, let's also take this cable here we go so uh, I think I should. Uh, I think we should stop here. We have uh, nearly removed all the parts. Uh, so I'm gonna clean up the table and bring all the parts we have removed and talk about a little bit of them. So uh, we have finally removed all the parts. It was actually very easy to remove the parts. The Beoplay A9 uh, MK1 version has not including so much parts as we think. There is only uh, the big main board. Where we have the Ethernet, uh, not Ethernet, and we have the also. I think this is the. I don't know what. I think this is for the torso link. So we also we have the Ethernet right and left channel, and we have the uh, free wall and or corner position. At here we have the the power supply board. Look like this. And we have the connectivity board where the connectivity board is uh, is uh, installed on the main board. We have the big woofer. It's very heavy. And we have the the two twitters, twin and quarter inch. It's not too big, but uh, the sound is very amazing. We have the the mid range drivers like this and I don't know what this is for but I think this is the microphone uh, if you know what it is give me a, a hint but I think I know what it is because this one is connected to here so this must be a, a antenna or a wireless thing for the for the this one so we also have uh, the touch bar where you can uh, do volume up, volume down with your finger. And we also have some parts here. I don't know what this is for. I think this this one in the was in the middle behind uh, this cap. Must be some ER sensor. And we also have damping yeah, materials for the Bioplay A9. Great to see Banger also has upgraded that. And we have over here, we have the big front cover. Looks like this. And also we have the big uh, round aluminum around the Bioplay A9. So um, all the parts are available. So uh, I'm gonna say thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoy my channel. And it's very great to see my channels uh, building up some audience and the viewers is getting higher. So keep up the subscribe to my channel and if you have some questions uh, you can send me a, a, a mail or if you have some questions leave it at the comment so uh, take care and uh, have a nice day